Early Wednesday morning, the 103 defendants arrived at the Bangkok Criminal Court for their verdicts to be handed down in Thailand's largest people trafficking court case. They faced charges ranging from human trafficking to money laundering to murder. Accused of being part of a ring that trafficked Rohingya refugees and Bangladeshi migrants in 2015. Mass graves were discovered along Thailand's border with Malaysia. The main defendant, former Army Lieutenant General Manas Kompan, was found guilty on human trafficking and money laundering charges. Two local government officials from the area, the so-called death camps, have also been found guilty of human trafficking. Surapan Kanchantuk worked with some of the first Rohingya trafficking victims back in 2005. He thinks the court needs to keep pushing for more trials. To sincerely fight human trafficking, Thailand must be persistent. They should expand the investigation deeper into more people and go further to other rings. This trial was the first in a new human trafficking division at Bangkok's criminal court. It took 16 months, Human Rights Watch says, too short given the complexity and the number of defendants and witnesses. Other human rights observers who have been tracking this trial right from the beginning say that this is a significant first step, but that future trials need to be more victim and witness focused. There is concern that, um, that they're going to see this as a case closed. Uh, what we know is that there are many more um, uh, survivors of, of trafficking with, uh, with other stories to tell. Um, and certainly there are perpetrators that um, have not brought, been brought to the account. The scope of the crisis back in 2015 indicates that there were more trafficking rings than the people involved in this case. But this new special court division has yet to say when more cases are due to be heard. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.